Yeah, also to second that, um, the great thing about a uh, Facebook page is the fact that you have uh, what's called insights, which is tracking a measurement that basically tells you kind of who's being the most active on that page um, from your community standpoint, from your fans. Um, where are they coming from? Are they, are they coming mostly from the Midwest or the South or, you know, the East Coast or, you know, maybe, you know, China, who knows? Um, it basically kind of gives you an idea of where your different fans and community are coming from so you can kind of tap into those different markets. Something else that is just really, really recent, I don't know if any of you have noticed this, um, it was a recent um, uh, iteration for Facebook that came out, which is uh, subscriptions that Google Plus did. Okay, so this really affects Facebook fan pages in a big way. Um, because Facebook now has a new algorithm where they're weighing your subscriptions as they come out. So that, let's say you're building up this great fan base on your Facebook fan page and uh, you have you know, hundreds and you're into the thousands. If you think that you're gonna send out an update and that all of those fans are going to get it, the answer is no, they're not, whether you realize it or not. Because now Facebook is doing something called, um, they're weighing the different uh, subscription posts that go out so that they're not spamming as much all the different users that are fans of your page. So a way that you can make sure that people see all of your updates is by making sure that they're keyword heavy. And when I mean keyword heavy, just words that you know people would search on Google or a search engine and also add you know photos um, video, those have higher weights, and so those are going to show up in more users' feeds as a result, so they'll actually see that. Um, it's the number one way that um, your fans are going to interact with you, is that subscription feed that they see, they're either going to like or comment from there. It's very, very rare. I think it's 2% uh, of fans after they like a page that actually come back to a Facebook fan page. So it's really, really important for you to carefully think out, you know, and, and as um, you were saying, you have to add those photos and from a content standpoint the videos to really make it interesting so that people will see it up in their feeds. So 